61st Street had its premiere at the return of the festival. What's it like to finally have it? Because it's been in the can for a while, now for everybody to finally get to experience it and see it. Right. Uh, great energy in the audience. Um, visceral responses that were very truthful. Um, and for us, from the writer's perspective, we, we know the moments that we were hoping land and all of them. You know, just every single, you know, you could feel it, you know, in the audience. It was palpable. So, again, powerful night and just super excited that, you know, people are going to get to see, you know, some great work. And, you know, it's really, it's really, this is the first time I've ever had a, a TV show premiere at a, at a festival. I know that the South by Southwest is, is, is famous for that, but not everyone does that. So it's really cool. Like, I've done a lot of TV in my life where it's like, oh, we're sharing a TV show. And, and we got to do two episodes. So it's like, gave everyone, like, a bit more than a regular tease. So um, it was, that was just a different experience for me because that communal aspect is really important. And how exciting is it, too? You guys, you guys already have two seasons just locked and loaded, ready to go. How exciting is that, knowing that you got something else for fans that they're just going to be having as soon as they crave it after this first season is done? It's a great story, and um, you need the first season to sort of really set the stage for the bigger conversation. And I don't want to give too much away, but two completely different ideas. That, that we're pursuing. So the audience is going to get a taste, you know, of what 61st Street is. And I, I kind of equated to like, you know, bringing them into the, the, the web. And then once we got them, bam, then we hit them, you know, with, with the second season. And again, a bigger discussion, a bigger conversation about um, the criminal justice system um, and the relationship between marginalized communities and the police department. So we're really, really excited. Yeah, I think um, also too, I, I think the best work I think word of mouth is, is more powerful than anything. Yeah. And word of mouth comes from something that's quality. And th this show is, is beyond that. So I think like having two seasons too, like there, I don't know how much the break will be between the first one released and the right. second one, that's, that's to be determined. But I think having that break is really important because I know people are gonna watch this show. I know people are gonna go to it because you're gonna tell someone, oh, you gotta see this one, you gotta see that. And this is one of those shows. So it's nice to have that breath in between. I think building up an audience, and to be honest too, like. I'm a big fan of, of watching an episode week to week. Like, you know what I mean? We all watch Mirror of East Town, you know what I mean? And we all watch this and that, and it's like, it's kind of fun. And, and so having it spread out for me, I, maybe I'm old school and a bit of a purist in that way, I love it. And, and so I think it's great to have those two seasons done. I honestly think that, you know, it's good to give the audience an opportunity to breathe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Need, because, 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 yeah. because some of the content and some of what we do with 61st Street is so intense. You need, a, you need a minute to sort of process everything as we kind of take the audience on this ride. So again, I think a weekly you know, situation as opposed to just being able to watch it you know, beginning to end, you, know, you, you need a break. You need a minute to just sign a, you know. Yeah, and you, wanna, you want the audience really locked in and paying attention. I think if you're on your fifth episode in five hours in a row, you yeah. kind of start to lose the, your, your momentum of your interest. And I think like, that's important. You want to be locked in for when it's on. That's important. And then speaking of what the show's about, the importance of how people need to see this in society today, because, you know, it, it, sometimes it's, it, it's a very hard and tough topic because some people just don't want to see that this is actually happening. Yeah, yeah. I think um, probably for, 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 for us on the creative end, we don't want people to think that this was just a knee-jerk reaction to, you know, what happened with George Floyd. Um, this series has been in development for five years, right? And we're finally at a place where um, the audience can see it. The unfortunate part is that these issues are still as prevalent today, you know, as they were when they picked this script up, you know, five years ago. And in fact, I think, you know, the intensity and the temperature in the country has gone up a couple of ticks. So again, a show like 61st Street, we want people to watch process and we our prayer is that this prompts honest discussion about change unless we confront it we can't change it you know and we have to talk about it we got to begin honest dialogue and that's the the whole point of the series yeah it's got to be it's got to be in your face and this show is is relentless yeah. and it should be because it is it should be a punch in the face and you know you can't change everyone's mind but maybe you can help them use their mind and to have such a phenomenal cast. So what's it like to be working alongside them, working with them? Like, does it just make the job that much easier and fun? Oh my goodness. Well, this is uh, Courtney B. Vance's first show, right? It's his first job, I think. So he's got a long career ahead of him, I think. Took, took a chance on that guy. <laughs> right. I mean, you, I mean just, just a brilliant master craftsman. 
you know, watching Courtney work literally was like um, a master's class um, in acting. Here's the great litmus test. Anytime after someone gives a monologue and the entire cast, crew, extras are all applauding, like it was live theater. You know what I mean? You know, like we were really in a play just watching him work. Um, Andrean Ward Hammond is amazing, absolutely amazing. Mark O'Brien, in my humble opinion, I've watched his work you know, for quite some time, gives the performance of a lifetime, just so layered, textured, nuanced. Um, Anjanou Ellis, Tosin Cole, Bentley Green, Holt McAnally. Oh my God, Holt is a beast in 61st Street. So again, for us, we were really, really fortunate to assemble such an amazing cast with you know, just phenomenal talent abundantly generous with their gifts and talent and time. No problems with rehearsals. Um, all of the table reads, we worked on weekends. I mean, you know, everybody was 100% locked in, you know, on this. And I think it shows, you know, on screen. Yeah, I think too, uh, thanks man. Uh, I, think, uh, I think too, it's, um, this, I think this is maybe my, my sixth show as, as like, a, a, like a regular on a show and if there's ever a link on that show that's not as strong as the other, the, the whole thing, not collapses, but it crumbles a little bit. A little piece falls off the roof. Like, it, it, it needs to work because if you have great actors in that scene, the other scene's gonna be better too. Because it all comes together as one. And I think with this, it's like that ensemble is so strong. And it's such a joy, I have to tell you, when you're, when you're in ADR and you're doing, uh, that's additional dialogue recording. Uh, when you're doing that, you're actually seeing parts of the show as the actor, this is the first time you really get to see anything and you see bits of other people, you're like, oh my God, they're so good. It ups your game too. It makes you be like, whoa, I gotta bring it. And also, it makes you more excited as well. And, and to see the conscientiousness behind these actors, like everybody cared. And I gotta tell you, it's not always the case. I'm gonna name some names. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not always the case, but on this one, it was a pure joy. It was, and it's rare.